Hello, geeks. I know some of you are probably wondering, Sherry, how do you see so many movies? You keep telling us that you're poor. Well, the truth is, eh, I spend a lot of money. Today I'm gonna tell you my secret so we can all go to the movie. So, geeks, my secret is pretty simple. I use movie subscriptions to be able to go to the movies pretty much as much as I would like. I started a couple years ago back when MoviePass announced that they were reducing their price to $10 a month to go see unlimited movies at any theater that you'd like. This was an awesome value. For less than the price of one ticket? You get to go see as many movies as you want? I was on board right away. Their customer service sucked, but you got to see as many movies as you wanted. And depending on what theater you went to, you could rack up rewards points when you go to the movies and use it to buy stuff at the concession. Or if you wanted to bring a friend along that didn't have movie pass, you can get their ticket with the points that you earned. Now the theory behind MoviePass making their price so low, they were hoping that the theaters would form a partnership with them and they'd be able to either get part of the concession sales or part of the ticket sales so it'd make up for their price being so cheap to the public. MoviePass still had to pay the theaters the ticket amount for every time you went to see a movie. So they actually started losing money pretty fast. However, theaters were able to benefit from the movie pass because I don't know about you, but if I'm paying 15 to $20 to go see a movie, I'm probably not going to be at the concession stand buying $7 popcorn or a $5 drink. I'm probably going to save my pennies and just go see the movie. I'm also not going to go to the movies as often because I can't afford it. I only go to see the stuff that I really want to see. So I missed out on some movies that looked eh, that might have actually been really good. Unfortunately, MoviePass started changing their terms over and over again, which made them lose memberships. The first thing they did was they made it so you could only see a movie once. This wasn't that big of a deal. As I said, if you went to certain movie theaters, you can earn points still with their re rewards program and if you wanted to see a movie more than once, you could be like, okay, I'll go use my movie pass the first time. The second time, I'll just use my points and get a ticket, and no big deal. Then they decided, well, we're losing a lot of money, so you can only see three movies a month. Still, not that big of a deal to me. Yes, I was a little sad that I couldn't go to the movies every day, but I really didn't have time to go to the movies every day anyways. So three times a month, that's like um, almost a movie a week. So I was still fine with that. Then they made the change that made me cancel my membership. They're like, okay, you can only see three movies a month and you can only pick from a specific list every day. This list usually had one, two, maybe three movies. So if you weren't interested in any of those movies, you didn't go to the movies. And a lot of times they were like the B-rated movies that you didn't want to go see. Or they put a 3D movie on your list of choices, but your membership wasn't good for a 3D movie, so you really only had like one movie to choose from. That was a little bit ridiculous to me, so we canceled our membership to Movie Pass. It was fun while it lasted, and we got to see so many movies that we wouldn't have seen otherwise. But their day came. We then moved to a movie pass at the beginning of this year called, we called it Cinema. I'll put how to spell it down there. You can pronounce it however you would like. It was actually a European based company. And basically with them, we picked a subscription plan that cost a little bit more than movie pass. I think it was like $15 a month, but we were only able to see three movies a month. Again, three movies, plenty of movies for me. And it still had the stipulation no 3D, no IMAX, whatever, it's fine. If I want to go see those, I can pay, or I can use points and pay a little bit extra, but I'm fine with just three movies a month. 
and you were allowed to see the same movie more than once. So we were with them for a while, and then it was announced, I think around June or so, oh, we're no longer going to be in the U.S. This kind of pissed me off a lot because we actually paid for a year membership and then they're like, oh, we're going away. You lose the rest of your money. We probably still got our money's worth, but it would have been nice to get our refund back for the months that we paid for and didn't get our subscription. Some people were able to get their money back and some people had issues, but we got our money's worth and just went on with our lives. Now, AMC has had a movie pass for a while. Unfortunately, the nearest AMC to us is 30 to 45 minutes away at either house that we were at. So it wasn't really a value for us to get onto their program. Their program is pretty cool though. Every week you get to see three movies. I think you're able to go to an IMAX or 3D like once a month or something like that. And it's like 20 to $25. So if you like to go to the movies a lot, this is still a good deal for like the price of two movies. You get to see three every week, not every month, but every week, which is still a great value. And again, the movie theaters are making money on these subscriptions because if you're not paying as much for a ticket, you're more likely to go to that concession stand and spend some money. And that's where movie theaters actually make their money. However, re more recently, Regal Theaters, which are actually a lot closer to both houses, about 10 to 15 minutes, either out in our old house or at this house, just came out with a movie pass that is very awesome. It is a truly unlimited, even more so than movie pass was back in the day. You can go see as many movies as you want, as many times in one day as you want, the same movie as often as you want for anywhere from 20 to I think the, their largest plan is like $26. You still don't get to see IMAX or 3D movies, but most of the people I go to the movies with don't enjoy those. And it's more of a novelty, if anything. I find seeing it in 2D. But again, for the price of like a ticket and a half, you can go see as many movies as you want. They also give you 10% off at concessions. I think AMC also gives you a percentage off their concession, but I don't know. I haven't used AMC movie subscription, but I am enjoying my Regal subscription so far. You still earn points for every dollar you spend at the movie theater. So if you go to the concession stand, you're still racking up points that if someone again wants to go to the movies with you that doesn't have, the subscription, you could buy the ticket for them, or you can actually use it at the concession stand. Jeremy and I went to the movies last night. I had a special on there for signing up for the movie pass for free popcorn. So we got a free small popcorn that was going to expire in 10 days, so we made sure to use it. Then we used our points towards a free small drink, but we upgraded our drink to a large so we had a date night for like a dollar and 10 cents. But again, since we're only paying for like a ticket and a half every month to go see a movie, we go see as many as we want and we're more likely to get concession food while we're there. So the movie theaters actually make a good profit off of us. So geeks, have you tried a subscription plan? There might be one somewhere other than Georgia that I don't know about. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried one, which ones you like, which ones you hated. And until next time, geeks, have a good one.